we go. It's coming in hot. This house is getting one of the lures over. Hey! We're getting in. This is, listen, man. This is how we do it right here. We got to go through the back door of ICAST. You know what I mean? Seek a tunnel back to where we can find the, uh, the experimental projects for uh, new fishing products this year. We're going to try this and try to get inside. <laughs> so how many of you guys out there have been through the back door of ICAST? We're going through the back door, guys. Oh, ugly steak done. Took over the whole front board. Going in. Thank you. So behind me is the gateway to a whole nother world, guys. We're gonna go in there a little bit later. I wanna show you guys that, see what we can find. Man, this is gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome. Ah, I just love it. All right, so we're gonna go back over to where the, uh, where the kayaks are and stuff like that. It's kind of nice to have our own ride, huh? Yeah, buddy. So uh, we're gonna test out some kayaks, hopefully, and uh, look at some products and uh, see what we can find. excited man. First time here at ICAST. Uh, today is actually a demo day with all the kayaks so <laughs> we're gonna go check these out. Let's go, let's go. Love the designs on these things man. So we're over here at the boat booth and you can see here we got the boat uh it is an easy rider we got the uh the breeze we got the wolf and uh we uh, they also got their gator shell uh paddle board here the hd boat gator shell nice very nice that he explained to me is uh and this might have been my concern is over here at these inflatables are made with like military grade PVC so you can they're gonna last you a long time and my main concern was you know you buy a kayak that's uh you know made with the plastics and the uh, uh stuff like that that you know that's gonna last and all that as long as you take care of these things they say they'll last you years to years to come with it and they actually have a two-year warranty uh no no basically no questions asked kind of warranty they said it's very generous uh so you're not gonna have any problems for for a few years on these things so heck yeah. Water's naturally sticky. You ever shaved your beard in the sink and then turn the sink on and the water grabs the hair and it sticks up and clumps, right? Same concept with the scales. They're all gonna come together. You're gonna keep the head facing away from you, scales towards you. Water at that level I showed you earlier, it's gonna take nice, even, steady pressure and start raking that fish. Look how this come off. That quick, that fast, that easy. Throw it in the trash, throw it in the water, throw it on the front, whatever you want to do. <laughs> Whole fish only takes a couple of seconds to scale. That fish is clean. Wow. Turn the water pressure on a little more. Clean your table, clean your fish. Move on to the next one. You can clean that cooler full of fish there in just a matter of minutes. It's amazing. Simple. Hydro scale the cleanest, easiest, fastest way you're going to scale. Absolutely. 
product right there is for uh, cleaning fish and if you look down below here you can see that it just attaches to your uh, garden hose so you can descale the fish <laughs> Over here at the booth, guys. <laughs> oh, 12 over from the land of the ice and snow. North. Nice, nice. I like it. I like it. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about your batteries, man. Well, we built them from the ground up. So we've got these are new. Um, we've got a 16 volt 135 there. Uh, that's a that's our heated version comes in two two versions okay what's for, the heated version so mean? the guys that fish in colder weather i got you um, with with lithium you don't want to charge the battery below a certain degree so right what this does sense that incoming current divert it to heat the battery physically up right and uh and then once uh once it's heated up then it'll redirect the current to uh charge the nice so we got a 12 volt 105 there Nice. Dual voltage here. Oh wow! So this is a 36 volt with 28 volts, and so a lot of guys. So this is uh, designed to power uh, the black box. Okay. You know, so you can run your trolling motor in the black box. You imagine that on a kayak, man. 180 amp hour of battery. <laughs> Good God! Yeah, and this is our starting battery. Uh, yeah. What's the weight on? How are they pretty heavy versus which one? <laughs> 44. I mean, but compared to lead acid, you know. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Very nice, man. Yeah. Something about deep sleeve and all that stuff? Deep sleeve, yeah. Go for it. <laughs> so, uh, we've got some features in these batteries that we think are pretty darn cool where uh, everybody's got shutoff switches in their boat, right? Right. So come by our booth later. We'll demonstrate it for you with, through our app. Okay. You can literally get the deep sleep button. All the batteries just shut down, and you can control which batteries shut down. Okay. So, like, if you got a boat tied to a dock, right? You're gonna be there for a weekend, right? Right. You can literally go. I'm gonna check this one. Here's my uh, my trolling motor batteries. Here's my house battery. But I'm, I'm gonna leave that starting battery live. His rings. I want my bilge pumps to run. Wow. And then when you come back, you just open up the app. With that, and turn it back on. Or we've got the battery management button built in, where one touch. You just come right nice. Back. So it's pretty cool. Can you talk about uh, dual voltage for these guys? A little bit. You can talk to them about it. First dual voltage battery. So what we've got here is we've got 36-volt terminals up here for your trolling motor. Down here we got 28-volt regulated, clean, consistent for your sonar modules. And, I mean, if you've ever seen kind of how guys were accomplishing that in the past, it's an external regulator, you've got switches, it's complicated wiring. Right here, brother. Black on black, red on red, you're good to go. And we, we have built into the battery where you know, regulators consume power, where you, whether you're drawing current through them or not. An hour after you stop drawing power from these terminals, they shut off. So from a power management standpoint, we really got that figured out for you. And then that's when deep sleep takes over after that. Okay. You get the boat on the trailer, I'm, I'm done, I'm going to go home, I'm going to put it in deep sleep, and it puts them down, no current, voltage, amperage at the terminals, they're stored, you don't have to do the thing in the department, you get all the switches. Awesome. Awesome. Right. Awesome. Yeah, does any of your uh, batteries have the Bluetooth in it for monitoring and all oh, that? Yes. Okay, awesome. Stop by our booth and check out the, yeah, we will. Call the Guardian app. Absolutely. It's really advanced. Absolutely. Okay. Cool. I'll leave that on there for a minute. You guys can check that out. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. This is... Uh, this so is the travel battery. You're going to write up a contract. The kayak battery will not have the ears. Oh, this? Yeah. It'll have, it'll be this big. Oh, this is just to, this is really just to latch into the travel motor with the tiller. Um, this battery is 14, 1425. So it's almost two in my inbox before I get home. Yeah, so it's a, a lot more battery. It's called the disrespect tax. You can, this is an upgrade to get this size. The way they're selling them now, once we start getting batteries, right now that's the problem, getting batteries. Right. Uh, 
figure out how to. You walk and order a 1100 to go to your competition. Uh, or the one hour battery. Kilowatt. Or the 1425. Which most people are going to want that big battery because yeah. it's basically you got two batteries. Right, one, right. So yeah. It'll be smaller. This one's 21 pounds. The new motor's lighter than the. I didn't get an hour down the road. There's the new motor if you want to look at it. Yes, absolutely. So we're gonna go see that new motor that Torpedo has. Uh, it's definitely on his, his. We all know this kayak really well. Uh, heel. Oh, okay. So it will not. You can. Uh, and then it comes with massively upgraded uh, steering triangle, which has been a problem. The other issue that has been corrected with this motor and the 1103 has been this. This is a lot beefier. A lot beefier cable and then uh, the big thing is up here the new throttle wow look at that throttle man is uh that is beautiful let me power it up here but it's backlit and it's just got you name it, it it can tell you rpms of the motor rpms you know uh, how far you got to go how many minutes hours on the battery and everything so it's a really uh this is Chad. Chad Hoover's boat. This is Chad Hoover's boat, yeah. Yeah. Everybody watch Chad. Yeah, that's but this new throttle, it, it just glows to you, you know. And you yeah. can dim it, brighten it, whatever. Nice. Um, but and the the you motor is a higher wattage, right there. so it's it's using more power more efficiently than okay. the old one. So theoretically, you should be able to get the, the same more performance out of a you know less battery usage to Cool. to do it so I like how you put the track pack, the track yeah. pack on that oh, yeah. yeah those are those track packs are, oh yeah they're great awesome. I, I use them I don't hardly even keep a black pack in most of my boats anymore oh, yeah, whatever I'm going to fish for I grab one of them that's got yeah yeah I've got two that I wanted I carry my uh first aid kit yeah and then I have them stacked so on the bottom I've got like my scissors or yeah. a pair of pliers or something that I might need you know yeah. And it's been, it's been, it works really good. Very yeah, nice. It's got the catch on the front end. Yeah, the throttle's the, really uh, nice. Like a bow uh, mount. We got one in the water there if you want. It's on the Osprey. Okay. So, uh, yeah, they're, check that out for sure. They're not available yet, but they're, the motors are available, but we don't have the batteries. They're, they're, they're trying to get batteries here. Okay. So, once that happens, you should, should start to see them out on the water. cases this is supposed to be a lot more rugged as far as you know not chipping if you now granted you drop that on concrete sure it's gonna sure it's gonna crack but right uh, and you said how heavy is that battery that battery that one the 20 uh the biggest battery i think is 21 pounds so that seems to be like the standard now about 20 to 30 yeah. pounds on the uh on the batteries for them Very nice, man. We appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're definitely, uh, a lot of the things that are upgraded are the, the, the components that are going to last, right. you know, that, that have been breaking. The only thing is, if you ever have to take it apart, you just got to cut the tape off. Sure. Right. That helps. Uh, that helps a lot. And Trey Leach from Innovative Sportsman is, is designing the new rock guard for these. So highly recommend it. The rock guards on all these. I mean, that's first thing you ought to get if you ever get a torpedo is put a rock guard on it. And they're outputting from either a black box Garmin or from these. You can output through HDMI and do it that way. Do those uh, those screens. I gotta make some decisions in case. Yeah. Hey, how would you guys like to have a screen that big on your boat?
How you pronounce that? Savivlo. 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 And as long as long as the bait is pulling the line, we do not. When it stops pulling, then we reduce the speed. Because that's the only time when you risk getting over. Right. So imagine you cast, and then 30 yards out, you get a wind gust. You don't see that. No. Our reel knows it. And will reduce pull speed. So you don't get a backlash. If you cast, you get uh, sun glare in the water you don't see when it hits. You don't have to worry about that. So the, our wheels, they excel in difficult conditions. Wind gusts, windy, headwind, tailwind, you change the weight of bait. What we can guarantee is that this will be longer time in the water. You never have to fine tune anything. You just focus on fishing. What's the retail? 239 on, on uh, Dog Dragon and uh, 299 on Dennis. And are these uh, saltwater rated? Yeah. Absolutely. Normal maintenance. Yep. Okay. They're carbon fiber reinforced plastic frame and side plates. And then the stainless steel ball bearings. Do you have one to try? Sure. Of course we do. That's why we're here. So right here is a Sabitlo, and they are uh, in the new product category, so that's one we can vote on. I hope we like it. There's no re there's no requirement. Bobby, right. this this reel's for you. Somebody that doesn't know how to. Look <laughs> See, you know, listen. Yeah. Uh, so I I have used bait casters. I actually do like them. I'll get used to them. Yep. And the minute I get a backlash, that rod's set to the side yeah. now. Because yeah. I mean I know how to get out a backlash, uh, but you're losing valuable time when you're trying to do that. Yep. And I I really don't want to do that if I don't have to. Yep. So I end up going back to the bait the regular it's spinning been, reels yeah. because. One, we're in salt water. A lot of bait casters, and that's why I asked that question to you, uh, how are they gonna do in salt water? Yep. Um, it, that's a big deal to me. Yep. So when I, if, if it'll last in salt water, it'll last in fresh water all day. Yep. And a lot of the companies, due to cost, they gear them for freshwater yeah, guys. Sure. Yep. They use the materials that are that are yep. conduitive and, and will last a long time in fresh water. But the minute you put it in salt water, yep. they last like three months. Yep. You know, I, I bought that certain brand that I told yep. you, and that certain brand lasted me two months, a seven hundred dollar yep. setup. Yeah. I can't. That, that, that's not good. Yeah, and there's a lot more salt water spinning reels than there are yeah. bait casters, yeah. and, yeah. and and that's the biggest thing. Yep. If if you put that, incorporate that in there. You're not going to have a problem in salt, yeah. in salt, in fresh water. Well, there's a guy right there. If yeah, he's going to backlash it, it, like that, and then you, yeah. But it's it's yeah. not going I mean, to be. It's not inside the side plates. As you, as you can see, there's nothing to adjust. But inside here, that's where you have the brake system. Okay. And below that lid, okay. Let me show you. That's the brake assembly. And this will last around. 20 to 30,000 casts. Then okay. you will notice a little bit of less brake force, but then you can re replace this. Okay. About 25,000 casts, that's a couple of years. Yeah, that's right, right, that's a lot of casts. And inside that brake assembly, if I can open it. That's the brake system. So it's one moving part. And I'll try to explain what happens. Uh, when the spool starts to rotate in that direction, this brake arm, due to its own inertia, it's going to want to remain in its position. The spool starts to rotate. That means that it will engage to the, the uh, brake hub and be disengaged. 
then when it rotates and then when it stops, rotate, can do that. When it stops, the spool will reduce speed, but the brake arm will continue in the same speed. That's how it activates. So it's dead simple. I mean, it definitely works because I use big caster in it. Yeah. So I mean, it's as long as it's pulling, we don't do anything. As soon as it stops pulling, what we then we fine tune these so that there's a determined time from it stops pulling until we activate the brake. But that's that comes preset from from factory. So technology wise, it's it's both simple and complicated. Yeah. Can you ship to the US? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, man. Appreciate that. Can I take her to catalog? Of course. So there you go, right there. Silvo, they're uh, bay casters. They've got their own uh, proprietary braking system, which is amazing. Uh, we've thrown them a couple times. They seem, they seem to do what they're supposed to be doing. Uh, so new product. That's a product I believe is one of the ones that are uh, for new product innovations. They're gonna be uh, something that we could vote on. Let's continue going. Such a great time, I know. Guys, check that out. I don't know. I have to check them out. I don't know. I, I haven't looked at them Let too much. Let me know because that right there, the side that right there would be amazing on the blue sky. Sure. You got the classic 100 right there. Mode 110 from Pelican. Got your new canoe U10. Hobie Pro Angler 36. Well, that's the 180. That's the. Uh, that's not even that. That's actually a compass. And then you got the Mike Iconelli edition uh, Pro awesome, Angler. Awesome, awesome really good kayaks. And then there's this guy. Decided to come across. He trying to hide. What's up, Matt? What's going on? What's going on, brother? You got something to say? What's going on? Man, what's going on, chat? How y'all doing? Y'all drop something good down in the comments. Man, this is a brother from another mother right here, bro. All right, let's get on this. Right. You got guys out here taking turns on the on the kayaks. I'm thinking about that one right there. I kind of like how low it is to the water right there. Well, awesome, man. You get to pick which kayak you want to check out and uh, ride. So yeah, I don't know which one I'm gonna do yet. You can go ahead, man. There's a new canoe right there. Let me get. I'm, I'm gonna get that. I might get that. Let me check this out. Look at this one right here. This. This looks like a very interesting vessel right here. Out of all the stuff that's here, I already have a Hobie, so I don't really care about the red one. But this right here, this wide platform, you know, I believe this is, yep, absolutely. It's a U10. It's already got a Torquedo on it, or at least it looks like it has. Yep, it has a Torquedo on it. It's got a uh, mount right there for the throttle. And yeah, this one right here looks amazing. I might try this one. 
I gotta get through here because there's something I want to see. The wilderness system, tactical. What is that? You need water that is deeper than eight feet. What is okay, that? I'm up in. I'm I'm, I'm up in inshore, so I'm sitting between two to five. You need I'm title. You need no cut. I think the I think that wilderness might be catching my eye. That thing is huge. It is huge with a swivel seat. I don't know what to do, man. I like it. Maybe I'll try that one. This one right here is a SKF 117. Extremely low profile. It looks like it actually has a lot of water in the back end. I'm not really sure what that's about. That looks like a wet ride to me. Especially for a heavier guy. I'm not saying this guy's heavier or anything, but you know, it's a bonafide. It looks really nice, especially for, uh, for that. Oh, yeah, well, definitely got a weight capacity on that one. The width is 38 inches, thank gosh. The weight is 158, 158 pounds. Getting into the yeah, it's 158 sure, pounds. Trailer boat. All right, guys. We got the new wilderness uh, kayak here, and he's got a couple of uh, things on here that are pretty cool. I'm gonna take it out on the water here. Uh, let's get get our bearing. Turn the boat. We're gonna go slow at first. Get her going there. I can turn around all the way to the back of the boat. Look at that, man. I'm pointing backwards, fellas. Look at this. This is amazing. You got tracks in the back. You got an access hatch there. Sea decking all over. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit more review on one of these kayaks later on when I see them come out because I'm pretty sure they come out with these. And man, this is a big boat, fellas. Well, I'll kick her up a little bit here. Steer her around. So going back a little further, Ashley, we're going to start out from the front. As you can see here, they've got a hatch that's already kind of offset from the center of the kayak. But I'm telling you, inside of that, it's the entire hole. It's amazing how much room is in this boat. This thing is huge. Then it comes with not one, but two of the hatches here that you can open up. And inside, I don't know if you can see that pretty good. Looks really good, man. Nice kayak, man. It's got a plate right there for your electronics and things like that. I gotta make sure I don't run into any uh, fishermen over there on the deck. You know, keep myself out of everybody's way. Um, they're showing an elite Lawrence uh, fish finder on here. So you can put some big fish finders on this thing. And then going back, you've got a wide, I mean, wide deck, dude. Look how much room is in here, dude. This is crazy how wide this kayak is and how much room you actually have on it. And having the, for a swivel seat in this is pretty, pretty cool. I mean, this right here, if I saw this and put a motor, and I know I had my motor system, I would, I, I definitely would definitely like something like this because even in the flats where this is such a big cumbersome boat, weighing in 158 pounds, I mean, I can do some really good fishing and rig this thing up to have so much room. Wow. Wilderness, you did a good job on this one. I mean, even in the side, inside, look down below, they've got the paddle literally inside of the kayak. I mean, it's almost sucked inside of the whole kayak. It's really cool. And my boys, over there calling me like, like hurry the hell up. <laughs> Yo, I told him. Ah, woo! 
That's right, boy. Hey, I came out here to test out some kayaks, man. I'm trying to test drive a kayak. You know what I mean? These things are awesome. Look at this thing. It's huge. To get something big, if I'm a big boy, you weigh 250, 260, 300 plus, this boat right here is for you. This, this is a big boat. And I'm a little guy, and I like big boats. I cannot lie. All right, we're going to take it in because there's a lot of people trying this out. And my boys are waiting on me, so I'm going to go ahead and take take myself in here. We'll do a little video as, as we're going back in. Um, dude, but the wilderness, what is this again? I can't even remember. This right here is a Tactical Pro 128 by Wilderness. This right here is a nice boat. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, this was a nice boat right here. Probably the best looking one that I've seen out on here that I have never seen. But we're gonna take this sucker in, let some other people drive around, and we get this guy to kind of tell me the ins and outs of it real, real, real quick. Yo, I'm, all the boys that left me like, if you don't get the hell out that water, y'all gonna be. You gonna be walking back. These guys over here in the shade, bunch of wussies, bro. Yeah, I can't help with weighing four feet, 120 pounds. I just talked to Chad Hoover. That was really cool. Never met him before. Hopefully, I meet a couple more guys that I watch. You know, not because I'm so like a fan fan. I just love to watch stuff like that, and I like to meet these guys and uh, maybe do a review of that wilderness system. Uh, Man, that, that thing looked awesome. All right, Bellas. So we just did the uh, walkthrough of the uh, the outside booths and stuff like that. I got to test drive at least one kayak. My boy's back here trying to fucking keep me from doing what I do. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to ride some more kayaks. Maybe we'll get some more in the next couple of days. I don't know yet. All right, fellas. Thanks for watching the videos. Today was the first day of ICAST, so demo day. Um, if you haven't liked and subscribed, leave me a like and subscribe down below. The next few days, I'm going to be doing more videos, more reviews, more seeing of some products that maybe you haven't seen, maybe you have seen, maybe you just want to see it again. So with that, thank you for watching. Dragon Tails Fishing is out.